Okay, what's going on, everybody? My name is Mang. Welcome back to my continued exploration of the Fire Emblem franchise. Uh, last time we finished looking at Fire Emblem Mystery of the Emblem, the first title on the Super Famicom, released in 94. Now we're going to be looking at the second Super Famicom title, uh, Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War, released in 1996. Just a month before the N64 was released. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't think, uh, the, uh, Intelligent Systems didn't have much interest in the N64 because no Fire Emblem title was released for it. They instead went to, uh, the Game Boy Advance, which was smarter. But there will be one more Super Famicom title, released in 90... 1999. Uh, and then you wouldn't see a console release again until 2005 with Path of Radiance on the GameCube. But anyways, Genealogy of the Holy War. So this was released two years after uh, Mystery of the Emblem, and uh, we're past the whole partial remake territory. And this is a new original game. New original story. I think it's even like a whole original... It's it's the same planet, apparently. I don't think that's made evident in the game. But it is the same planet. It's just hundreds of years prior to the other games. Um, so quite unrelated, but it's still the same planet of... Uh... I don't know what the planet's name is. Anyways, so, a um, couple things. Okay, we're having, like, a weird graphical issue. Not sure what that's about. Yeah, that shouldn't be at the top of the screen. Okay, we're definitely... All right, hold on. Okay, quick restart, fix that. All right, so a couple that you're probably noticing. Uh, we're doing something a little different with the visuals. Because um, I was like, you know, I used to be bigger into, like, shaders when I was playing emulated games and stuff like that. And I was like, you know, I haven't looked at shaders recently. Let's see what they got going on. And, and a lot of people are talking about this set of shaders now. Um, CRT shaders. It's called Death to Pixels. It's a fork. It, it's basically a... It's based on another set of shaders called the Mega Bezel Reflection Shaders. So you need to have both of these you want but uh, yeah cyber lab death to pixels is the is what we're running here um and everyone's raving about these and how good and realistic and you know true to form they are for crt i don't know yes i mean i i grew up with crt tvs and all that like yeah obviously i was around during that time period i don't remember it though uh, my memory is very bad when it comes to long-term stuff. So I don't remember what it was like to game on a CRT. As far as my memory is concerned, I've always been on LCDs. Uh, so I don't have any nostalgia whatsoever for CRT. Now, uh, the supporters of this will, of course, claim that it has nothing to do with nostalgia. It has to do with the fact that these games were designed to be played on a CRT, and that's how they actually look objectively best. I don't know about that, but I don't think it's a bad look. Um, my problem with pretty much every CRT shader and stuff like that 
is that it always looks very dim. And I think that's how CRTs were. I mean, this is how it was meant to look, blah, blah, blah. But I am a fan of vibrancy. I'm a fan of just big, bright colors and popping off the screen and all that sort of stuff and just blowing my eyeballs to bits. Um, you don't really get that with CRT filters. So that's the downside, but we're giving this a try. Um, of course, again, this is a game that has never been released outside of Japan ever. It has never been remade. Uh, there is no form in which you can officially play this game in English. So we are running a fan translation. There's going to be some issues with that, of course, but the gameplay is still going to work out. Okay, let's get started. New record. Jug drill chronology. Grand Kingdom established. Becomes Grand Republic. Time of Prosperity. Lopter enters Kal... Lopto sectorized. It's called Dead Lords. Crush the Grand Republic. Lopto Empire formed by Archbishop Gala. Great Purge. Over 100,000 casualties. Sorrow village. I can't read all this. Why did it go so fast? I mean, I guess I'm glad it goes fast, but... The beginning of the Holy War in 633. This Holy War has been going on a long time. Grand Vale rests in the center of the Jugdral continent and was founded by St. Hein, one of the Twelve Crusaders. Hein's descendants, the royal family, were joined by six additional duchies, each with their own crusader lineage. Each duchy possessed large territory and military holdings and exercised partial autonomy while serving under the royal family. On behalf of a, the aging king Asmur, the government was administered by the highly regarded Prince Kirk. Assisting the prince was his confidant Lord Velen of Chal Chalpthi and Lord Ring of Jungbi. Prime Minister Reptor, <laughs> Reptor of Frege, Reptor of Frege, felt his position was being undermined. Calling on the avaricious Lord Langbart of Dozel, the two formed a coalition opposing the prince's authority. The young Lord Arvis of Velthamer, commander of the Royal Guard, had little involvement in governmental affairs. Only Father Cloud of Edda could sense the impending crisis. Just as this drama was beginning to unfold, news of calamity arrived from the east. The peaceful town of Darna, located in the Yi Desert, came under siege by Isaacian barbarians. Reports told of a massive slaughter taking place. Back in Granvale, public outcry began to grow, and before long, the decision was made to subdue Isaac. Acting on his father's behalf, Prince Kurth departed for the front, commanding the lords from each duchy. There at his side, a warrior in his own right, revered for his heroism and bravery, was none other than Lord Vila. Only a handful of soldiers remained in Granvale. Owing to a diplomatic alliance with Augustria to the west, and the Verdane Kingdom to the southwest, fear of any kind of aggression was virtually non-existent. However, that trust was betrayed all too soon. Verdane Kingdom's massive army, spearheaded by Prince Gandalf, crossed into Grand Vale territory unnoticed and laid siege to Jungbi Castle. Adine, daughter of Lord Ring, had sole responsibility for the castle. Entrusted with the protection of the kingdom by his father, Lord Velen, Sigurd stayed behind at Chalfi Castle. With only a few soldiers at his disposal, he was rightfully terrified when news of the invasion reached Chalfi. Sigurd cried, Those barbarians aren't laying a hand on Adin. Having known Adin since childhood, he was left with no other alternative. Sigurd promptly made the decision to take up arms. Grand Calendar 757. It was this very turn of events that cracked open the door of fate. No one at the time could have recognized this forewarning 
to the disastrous events to follow. You could not, lit you could literally not put any more proper nouns into that prologue if you try. That was insane. How many of those names do you even remember? Gandalf and Reptor. Holy shit, that's a lot of goons. My lady, the castle's completely surrounded. We've failed you miserably. Medale, it's all right. Everyone gave their best. You needn't worry about me anymore. Please, save yourself. I want as many of you to get out of this alive as possible. None of us are going anywhere, my lady. We're here for you till the very end. Even if it means our lives. Oh, thank you, Medale. I'm so sorry to put you through all this. A dean is in trouble. Gandalf's army has laid siege to Jungby Castle. Noish, I'm going to go and see if I can do something. You're in charge while I'm gone. Sir, you're not planning on going alone, are you? Granville's military is already en route to Isaac. There really is no one left to call on. Verdane's army may be full of barbarians, but it's huge. There are bound to be casualties. I can't get you involved. Excuse me, sir? We were born into the knighthood and are prepared to die fighting. We'd be a disgrace to let our master perish out there all alone. We're going with you. Alec, you're with me. You're with me on this, aren't you? Damn straight. Well, we'd better swing by the villages before going to Jungby Castle. Those barbarians will loot the place, kill everybody in sight, and burn it all to the ground. We've got to beat them there and get the villages to strengthen their defenses. Point well taken, Alec. We mustn't overlook our duty as knights to protect the people. Actually, Oifi takes credit for that one. I tell you, that kid's a strategist in the making. Takes right after that famous grandfather of his, Lord Caesar. Is Oifi in the palace now? Oifi, you here? Sir, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I'd like to join your assault. I don't want to just sit back and watch the castle, sir. I don't know, Oifi. You're still pretty young. You think you'll be okay out there? I'm already 14, sir. I know I'm not ready to fight yet, but I can still help out. Please, let me go with you. Well, it has been a good two years since you began training for your knighthood under me. You're probably ready for some battlefield action, but no fighting. Not just yet, anyway. Why don't you come along as my personal advisor? You bet. Thanks, sir. Sir, have you considered leaving someone behind to defend the castle? It would be too risky not to. We would be finished if we lost our base here to the enemy. Hey, Noish, you know who'd be perfect for that job. Isn't that right, Arnon? Why be, Alec? Because you're strong, reliable, and slow. You're the one hands down. <laughs> Ooh, I can live with the strong and reliable part, but leave the slow bit out of it, okay? Arnon, can we count on you? You're the only one who can aptly handle the castle's defense. All right, I'll do it, but you gotta promise to take me to battle with you sometimes. Will do. All right, let's make our way to the villages, and then we're off to Jungby. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Let's, uh, let's look at the walkthrough, because these games, you know, they've got, uh... They've got hidden shit. Chapter maps. Oh, this is just a map. I don't want a map. Um, events? Okay, there doesn't seem to be a walkthrough for this one. There's a lot of, like, charts and stats and all sorts of things like that. Uh, let me just see here. Okay. Here's a site. Wow! There's a lot going on here. It's a big-ass map. It says here we want to go north to Evans first. There's a lot going on.
Before going out to Evan, out of Evans, it'd be recommended to buy some weapons in the shop and also visit the arena to train your units. Hmm. Okay, I think we're still in the prologue, though. Yeah, this is just the prologue. We're not ready for the, the big show yet. But it is still a big map, lots of enemies. What do we got? I like how quickly this moves, though. That That's vastly improved. Okay, pretty good. So we've got Arden here. Um, so he's, he's staying put. He's just a big armored brute. So here's our stat screen, which looks pretty solid. I like the little animation that keeps playing there. Um, lover? Oh no, the romance has started! No! Fire, Fire Emblem's ruined. This is it. This is the first game to ruin the franchise. <laughs> now it's all about waifus and shit. Uh, we also have weapon level. So that's a different thing. Uh, sword, lance, axe, bow, staff, fire, thunder, wind, light, dark. And uh, he can only use swords, and he has an iron sword with 50 durability, I imagine, I, I guess. Durability is still around. We have Noish. Ooh, look at that. Wow, that is a massive range. So not only do we see movement range now, we also see threatening range at the end, which you could have inferred from the last game, of course, but it's nice to just have it displayed. Uh, if we go to an enemy, ah, much faster than the last game. Perfect. So all we'd have to do is step forward once and this guy will come a-calling. Um, but who else do we got here? So Noish Cavalier, he's got a steel lance. You can use swords, of course. Um, now can he dismount? No. Did they remove that already? So he can use swords, but from horseback. I also see special skill. What is this screen? I don't know. But yes. Oh, there's your special skill. Critical may double power if high skill. May double power if high skill. Okay. Yeah, that's probably what it's always been. It's just... It sounds really weird. Uh, yeah, okay. So crit is a special skill now. Not Implying not everyone will be able to crit. Uh, we also have dual. May keep fighting if agile. I think that means the, the follow-up attack, the double attack. So that's also not available to everyone. Okay. Uh, we have Sigurd, of course, the Night Lord. So our main character actually gets a horse this time. Uh, he's got a steel lance. He's got a star for sword level. Um, his special skill is Pursuit. Attack again if more agile. Uh, okay. Well, that sounds like follow-up. So he can't crit, from the sounds of it. May keep fighting if agile. Okay, maybe it's not a follow-up then. Maybe it's actually just like a second round of combat or something. I don't know. We'll see. I guess I could look it up, but whatever. Uh, then we have Alec, another cavalier. Um, he also has Pursuit, but he has Nihil, Nullifies Special Attacks. Uh, okay. Well, let's, um... Let's have them come to us, I guess. Oh, I like how quick and responsive this is, though. Uh, here we can see our whole unit list. All the stats, all the skills, uh, our item list. Our goal is to subdue Evans. Which 
which is the name of the enemy army. They have 32 units. What? It seems like an insane number, but yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, there's a lot of units. Okay. Um, so here's the entire list of special skills. It's not massive. It's not a massive list, but it's... It's new stuff. Receive double XP, 50% discount. Restore HP every turn. Leech health from enemy. Ooh, some fun stuff in there. Um... that up. Speed at which enemies move. Let's move that up. Yeah. I always like that. Ooh, and an auto save? Sure. Yeah, okay. This is all very interesting stuff. Evan's phase. What's taking you moron so long to take this dinky castle? Never mind. I'll do it myself. You held out pretty well for being on your own. But I've got you now. Die! Oof. Uh, Lady Aldine, forgive me! Medale. Ooh, who have we here? Lady Aldine of Jungby. <laughs> You're coming with me. DiMaggio, you and Gerard are in charge. Where are you going? Don't you worry, I'll be back with Kin Boys and his men. Hell, we may even press on to Belhalla. There'd be no one to stop us if we did. Make yourselves at home here, boys. Anything goes. <laughs> you could count on us for that. Hey, you're Dragon. Now pick up the pace. Take out this bridge. I don't want any of them Grand Veilers getting over here. Yes, sir. Gerard, I'm heading back to Marfa Castle. Castle's in your hands, so stay alert. Yes, sir. Who's the dame, your highness? She's my booty. I'm taking her back to be my wife. She's a keeper, wouldn't you say? Yeah, she's making my mouth water. You wipe that grin off your face. You'll get your needs met once Granvale is ours. Show a little self-control till then. You're all animals. Dear Lord, please instill these people with a little decency. What are you mumbling about? We're going. No falling behind this time. Get moving, idiots. We're going to Chalfie. Bring any loot you find in the villages to me. go. Ooh, look at how nice that looks. Boom! Oh, well, that's not good. Perhaps we shouldn't have hesitated. Aha! Lex, looks like we made it in time. Jeez, looks like Sigurd has taken on the entire Verdane army. He'll sure be happy to see us. You just can't stay out of these things, can you, Azel? Azel. Yeah, but with the military on engagement to Isaac, Granville's completely strapped. Sigurd and the few soldiers left in Chalfi are out here fighting for their lives. I can't just leave them hanging. Oh, really? I'm not quite buying your story, Azel. What aren't you telling me? What are you talking about? I'd surmise that you were all worked up about Lady Adine of Jungby. I know you like her. Y you're nuts. Haha, <laughs> face is getting red there, buddy. You little player, you. 
Hold on, knock it off. Now, come on, let's get going. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Finally, a chance to kick some ass. No, it's all about waifus, no. All right, well, we can fucking haul ass on horseback. Pack 15, he's got defense 5, so that's 10 damage. But we got the follow-up. What are you? You're a mage. You have fire. You can talk to Sigurd, apparently. Oh, an iron axe wielder on a, a, a horse. That's great. Dead as shit. A lot of XP. Okay, I probably should have left. I don't know. I didn't even look to the left. Okay, so you could go out there. Boom. Boom. Sigurd. No joke. Oh, and you can move afterwards. I wonder if you could attack again. Or is it just a free move? Either way, it's nice. guy. Okay. That's the turn. We have ourselves a ranged combat. Oh, he captured the castle! Oh, shit. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Okay, um, I think we probably want to... Ooh, nice. Looks like we're not too late. I hope Sigurd is alright. I'm sure my brother's fine, but he has no one around him that can use magic. I'm sure I can put my heel staff to some use around here. I'm sorry to pull you into this, Quan. I know I'm no longer a Chalfy, but I can't just sit back and do nothing. On my brother's behalf, thank you so much for coming. You don't need to thank me, Ethelin. You know Sigurd and I go way back. Not to mention that he's my brother-in-law now. Besides, I can't have you fighting alone. I sure appreciate it, dear. Forgive me for interrupting, but we should hurry. The battle is just up ahead. Um, yeah, a lot of, um... A lot of characters.
steel. Okay, ranged no longer gets the counterattack at adjacent. Um... Which is how it should be, I feel. Also, like, fucking everybody gets a horse. Oh, let's talk. Sigurd, you're okay. Ethlin, good to see you. I was so worried when I heard about Verdane's invasion. I'm just glad you're okay. You didn't think I'd lose to Verdane, did you? Yeah, but I heard you only had a few soldiers in Chalfi. And I know you, Sigurd. You're always jumping into this kind of stuff without thinking. Especially with Father being away, I know I had to come. <laughs> you have always had your head on straight, haven't you? You know you did a great job filling Mum's shoes after she passed away. When you married into Leon's Leonster's royal family, I swear we had a lady on our hands. But you're still the same old Ethlyn. Poor Quan. <laughs> Sigurd, if I'm a nag, it's because of you and Dad. If both of you weren't such slobs. Yeah, you might have us there, but we still appreciate everything you've done. Ethelyn, I'm sorry you had to come all this way. I can't thank you enough. Sigurd. Yeah, this is where we're at now, man. Nothing to do there. Hmm. Okay, and Sigurd, uh... Yeah, I guess. I Man, he doesn't have to go too far forward. I mean, he could probably solo. I don't know. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, we gotta get somebody all the way over there. And they, I mean, this is rough. Oh, and there. Pretty good. Kill this dude, I guess. Look at that tree in the foreground. Very nice stuff. Let's see some magic. Boom! Boom! Pretty solid. Okay. What's that? Yeah, I mean, Sigurd can pry pretty much solo. Let's find out.
Taking damage is no fun. here, man. Uh, mm, I don't know if I like that. I like seeing just a static list of the improvements that I got, rather than flashing by super quickly. Yes, come to Sigurd. Let him teach you a lesson in warfare. not great. Alright, uh, she can heal, I think. No? That's Finn. That's... Staff. Heal. Heal. Wow, full health. And XP. Hard to complain about that. Not sure about this reposition mechanic. Why can he reposition so fucking far? Must be based on some sort of stat. Uh oh, someone has bloodied Sigurd. But he leveled up health and skill and strength and luck. Ooh, crit. We don't get damage numbers anymore, I don't think. You're just meant to guess. I guess you can see their HP beforehand. Alright, nice. Nothing major. Hey, look at this reposition. Oh, 
It's annoying because you can't see how far they can move while you're needing to reposition. Would have been nice, but all right. That's it, right? I mean, that's permadeath. Hang in there. I hate to run out on Sigur, but we must get you home to recover. Juan, I'm sorry. And then they just leave. Well, I don't think that's permadeath, then. Um... But it's not good. Fuck, that was a while ago, wasn't it? Shit. Well, it was like the first thing I did. I hate that. It's still, no, the first thing I did. It was the first thing I did. <laughs> That's tough, though. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, you really have to play very cautiously. Far more cautiously than I think most modern strategy RPGs. So if we look at this guy's range... I think if we want to play it fairly safe... We should just huddle up around her. Have her heal... Juan, like so. Um, she could move, but I don't think she has to. And then Sigurd does all the work. Kills the archer. Gets his level up. Um, he could reposition. But see, that the thing is, like, they're burning villages, man! How cautiously do you want to play? church does. Something cool. So far to get to these villages. Alright, this is what we're going with. Let's see what happens. Oh, nice. Yeah, that sucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but he'll live. Alright, no casualties. That's the goal. Fairly weak. Alright, she's gonna heal Finn for quite a lot. She can start moving. Kill this fucker. Move over there. Then Finn can hopefully... Yeah, he'll kill this guy. Boom. And he levels up. Okay, good. Going on the church. Alright. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm working on it. Oh. Church. Yields. Church yields good. You did. And you can see how, like, essential horses are. Movement range on foot is pretty shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. We'll see if he abandons his village burning. Come kill me. Um... Any one of our, my other characters could just get swarmed here, so we really want to be pretty cautious. Like, maybe risk two of them. Make sure we're at full health. Um, I think that's it. I do like how just quick and responsive everything is now. Really sorted out all that slow bullshit from the Famicom era. Uh, indirect hits. Stuck with burning down the village. I guess that's good. Uh, hopefully this guy does not miss, because otherwise it'll all be over for him. He did not miss. Good. Strength and defense. What more do you need? Um. Yeah, I, I don't know if I want to actually put uh, Alec involved here. I want to get him to the church, I guess. So, yeah, move here. <laughs> um, Sigurd. I think if we do anything, let's just shut down this shit. That way, we don't have to worry. The question is, do I back up with everybody else and just let Sigurd slowly handle things, or... They didn't move, actually, which is kind of interesting. The three guys in front of the castle. I think we still wait here and just kind of see what happens. I like that they bumped up the durability numbers quite a bit on everything, so you don't have to shuffle as much. But that durability mechanic, that must have gone away at some point, right? Like, if I play the newest Fire Emblem, am I still dealing with weapon durability? The archer came in. That that's perfectly fine. Oh, beautiful crit. All right, that's the final guy, Fortune. But Noish will handle this no problem. Hmm. 
Okay, he doesn't quite make it to the castle. We will go here then. Alright, well I'm glad this guy moved in. Uh, let's heal. There we go. That is your, that is your role in this conflict. Stab this guy with an iron lance. Good. And then you will come in and stab him with a steel lance. And he will die. Okay. You came to save us. I thought we were doomed. I've got a ring for you in appreciation called the speed ring slip her on for a little boost in speed go ahead put her on your enemy will have a tough time hitting you now speed receive and 2500 bucks wow okay, i don't think i can equip it now but okay so i could have been going into all these villages and getting good equipment now i wonder if sigurd has to do it equip it outside of battle. I don't know. Alright, he'll do it. He'll do it. He'll finish it. Alex, got this. Boom. Done. And a level. Jungbi's ruling family of master archers are descended from Ulir, the god of archery. Duke Ring had himself twin daughters and a son. However, Lady Adean's twin was abducted by pirates as a youngster. The son, Sir Andre, joined his father on the campaign to Isaac. You didn't hear it from me, but there seems to be quite a bit of friction between the two. 1500 bucks. Okay, well, we're definitely then going around to all the villages. Um, yeah, I think we'll just kind of wait here. There's no time limit now. You suck. E eat steel. He did. I know, I tend to fast forward. So, she can move in, heal, and then move back. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. God, lore and backstory and no oh no great uh okay oh, who's this i completely forgot about The Chalfers are all descended from Baldo, the god of light. All right, well, thanks for the money. That's all I can say about that. Uh, okay, so there's that village. I guess, uh... I guess we'll start moving. Okay, let's have uh, Sigurd go in. 
Almost did it. Let's toss a javelin just to be... Just to be fun. I'm gonna do it here. Wow. He has an attack of 28 with that javelin? Jesus. just leaves the main man in the castle. Listen up, kid. Swords are stronger than axes. Axes are stronger than lances. And lances are stronger than swords. Ah, so finally we have the weapon triangle that I think persists to the rest for the rest of the series. So... Yeah, it's important that I memorize this, I guess. Swords are stronger than axes. Axes are stronger than lances. Lances are stronger than swords. Keep that in mind when you're in combat. And if you find yourself hurting, the church is your one stop to full recovery. But it ain't free, mind you. The going rate is five gold for each hit point. Oh. Fucking church. Alright, what does this guy got? Does he have a hand axe or something? Dimage. Now he's got a steel axe. It's certainly no joke. Uh, we're gonna. Oh, I don't even need to heal Sigurd. Okay, never mind. Uh, well, Quan has a javelin. I guess. So, you made it here, you Grand Vale cowards. I, Lord DiMaggio, will finish you. Finish this. Hoo-hoo! At a level? Pretty solid. Wait, can I then just reposition? Jeez. It's pretty good. Heals a little bit in that fortress. Still probably worth it. Oh, not if you miss, though. Alright, let's have Sigurd step up. This is what he's meant for. Hmm. Yeah, pretty simple. Then he can just dart out of the right way. It seems pretty potent. Are the Is the AI gonna take advantage of that mechanic? Probably not. You've come for us. Our village is saved. Here's a small sum of money we all pooled together. Please help out the other villages if you can. Well, man, we got fucking paid from this mission. That's for sure. That easy. No, this can't be. All right, let's end it. Sir, there's a knight on the ground over here. Hey, isn't that Medale? Come on, Medale, pull it together. Uh, Sir Sigurd? Medale, are you okay? Where's the dean? I don't know. Gandalf was here, though. Is that right? Well, don't worry. I'll get her back. Give yourself some time to heal up. 
No, Sigurd, I must join you. I can't begin to tell you how worried I am about her. Jungbi Capture. Alright, did I miss anything from this, uh... Let me check the walkthrough for the prologue. have to go all the way over here to Evans, where Gerar is. I will say the, uh, the walkthrough has the entire map that you can see all at once. It's really, really nice. It's really nice looking. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Let me just see. Here we go. Dimaggio blew it? That worthless piece of crap. Prince Gandalf won't be pleased. Damn it all. Go put the bridge back up over June River. Let's get it right this time. That is a lot of enemies. His Majesty wants me to check on things. The savages sure aren't going down easy. Sheesh. Sigurd, you don't impress me much. Okay. So who the fuck is this? Arvis. He's got Val Flame and Recover. He's a sage. Hmm. He seems pretty good. He's got 60 hit points. Uh, okay, so let me check this prologue thing, walkthrough. Alright, so I get a silver sword if I go talk to Arvis with Sigurd. Walkthrough mentions just like beating on that first boss with characters and then letting him heal before he dies and then beating on him some more. Just continue to get XP. There's not much to say, it's just we gotta kill all this shit. Uh, oh, and we also have, um, Medale. An Arch Knight. That sounds really cool for that sounds too cool for what he is i think um he's got a crossbow so he's like a a horseman okay that's all well and good is almost dead, so that's not a good place to be. And uh, Alec is almost dead, but there's a church here. Okay. Yada, 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 yada. Heal, 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 heal. Boom. Oh no, that cost me money. What did I heal? 20... 
24. 24 times 5? I mean, that's... I don't even know. 100 and... It's less than 150. That's what I know. Uh, and I have, like, just a stupid amount of money already. I don't even know if it... It probably says somewhere. Yeah, I have a lot. I have thousands and thousands. So I'm not too worried. Alright, uh... So, he is vulnerable at the church. But I think just kind of... Probably just move this guy over to the other church. Not worry about him too much. That's what we're doing. You fool. Why would you go after Sigurd of all people? This is more up your alley. Ow. And Finn. Yep. Yep. Uh, he's gonna heal back to full now. Good. Um, we're going to heal Finn. Good. Just wait there. Uh, you can just kill this guy, I guess. Head. Um. I guess. Would have been nice, but sure. You can, however, finish him off. I imagine having a nice arch knight on hand is a good thing to to do. Uh, let's move Sigurd right up. Deal with this fucking archer, this hunter. The annoying thing is, like, he's still fully effective. I could move him up, but he'll get swamped. There you go. It's something. Okay, and, uh... I wish my mage had not been in such a shitty position. Dodge. Hello? I don't think that guy... Okay, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Sir Sigurd, how you been? Lord Arvis, what are you doing here? His Majesty was worried, so he sent me to assess the state of the conflict. He also sent this with me. It's for you. Whoa, a silver sword. You wanted me to have this? What an honor. Lord Arvis, please express my sincerest gratitude to His Majesty. Will do. By the way, I heard my brother Azel has joined your army. Yeah, sorry. It sounds like he came behind your back. I couldn't just turn him away. If at all possible, I'd like him to stay with us for a bit longer. Well, keep him safe. Azel's my only brother. We may have different mothers, but he still means the world to me. I wish he and I got along better, but that's the way these things go. Sigurd, I'm leaving him with you in good faith. Show him the ropes, okay? I'll do that. I'll see if I can get him to return home once we finish up here. I appreciate it. 
Well, I need to get back to Belhalla to watch over his majesty. Don't let me down, Sigurd. Silver received. They still couldn't put, like, the sword symbol there, you know, just call it a silver sword. I know, just call it silver, they'll figure it out. Noish. Noish Crit. Get it? Because his name's Noish. On cleanup duty now. Forty HP. Perhaps we should weaken him first. Yeah, sort of like that. You know, I wonder if it's not a reposition mechanic, and I wonder if it's just finishing your movement. Which would explain why, if you barely move before attacking, you can move a lot after. Uh, yes, that makes far more sense than what I was talking about. So, I think we've cracked the case. She'll barely be able to move at all. Yeah, okay. I think we got it. I don't know why it took me long, that long to put that together. Alright, I think we've pretty much got this in the bag. I mean, yeah, there's still a lot left. But with Sigurd holding the bridge here, good god. Let's attack with this nice new silver sword. Not too shabby. Then... Uh, with... Medale, we can then pop from behind and finish him off. Can't reposition or he can't move at all because he he moved his full range. So to put it a different way, you can uh, move both before and after attacking now, which is really nice. Noish is pretty weak. I have to have Evelyn heal him. Or that's not her name. It's something like that. There's so many names, man. You expect me to know everyone's name? Slaughter this guy. That's done. Um, you know, I'm really gonna I'm, gonna. I'm gonna put him in there. I'm gonna put him in. 
Ethlin. That's what it is. Let's have Ethlin heal Noish. Very nice. Noish can get right in there. may as well get out of the way. Uh, Finn could come in. As we try and kill this guy. See, now that's pretty bad. We should pull him back. Pretty capable. Steal a steel lance right in there. Boom. Wish it was a follow-up, but what are you gonna do? Uh yeah, I mean everyone should survive, I would imagine. for me. Yeah. I mean, it hurt. This is gonna hurt. But unless he crits, he didn't do that. So we're fine. Nice. Yeah, the fact that Medeo gets a follow-up already... Puts him, her, I'm, I'm really not sure. Puts them pretty high up. Uh, uh yeah, we'll heal. Ben. But that means you get in there right now, and you stab him. Ugh. Stab him. And... Stab him. And Sigurd is gonna go for the charge with his silver sword. Granville dogs, damn you! These are the types of things I like to see. Alright, well then, uh, we may as well shoot him with mid ale. W wait you're using arrows, you coward! Shut up! Where's Lady Adine? Bring her back now! It might be a girl. Oh, shit. Okay, wait. Well, they got XP. That's what I cared about. Um, Juan could throw a javelin just to get some XP. <laughs> Not much. Alright, Sigurd. Ah, uh, should it be Sigurd? Maybe it should be someone that could use the XP more. Like, Finn. Unless he just dies, then I'm mistaken. Okay, well, hey, he got a level. Alec might die. It's possible. Nice. I mean, that's 26 free XP. Hell yeah. I like that we're all just taking our turn here. Alright, Noish. 
Ice might actually kill him, though. No, nope, not quite. All right, cool. Finish it. Oh, I shouldn't use the silver sword. I'm gonna rewind. We do, don't need to use that big of I could have used the iron sword. Too bad for you. That dame of yours ain't here. Prince Gandalf's got her. Sir, we've searched the entire castle, but there's no sign of Lady Adeen. You're kidding. Where in the world could she be? He told you. Verdane must have taken her away before we arrived. I hope she's all right. Uh, I'm hunting these bastards down. We're getting her back. Sir, an envoy of his majesty has just arrived from Belhalla. Sir Sigurd, your efforts in this conflict have been quite impressive. His majesty is exceedingly pleased and has ordained you a holy knight of the kingdom. I hardly deserve such a great honor. I pledge my allegiance to his majesty. We gravely need your help in protecting these castles. You will be duly compensated. Of course, the sum will go down if the castles incur any damages. Please continue to be vigilant in the ensuing battle. Adine was nowhere to be found in Evan's castle. She had already been taken deep into Verdane territory. Verdane existed under the cover of a thick forest. In the past, Verdane's frequent encroachment of the border earned them the label of barbarians by the people of Granvale. Under the reign of King Batu, Verdane witnessed a cessation of all fighting along the border. The amiable monarch succeeded in maintaining the peace with Granvale, while pacifying his zealous sons. <laughs> However, that very peace was ultimately violated by none other than King Batu. The king ordered his three sons to invade Granvale. There was Kinboys, Kinboa of Genoa, the eldest son Gandalf of Marfa, and Jamki, the youngest of the three. Using the forest as cover, the savages awaited Sigurd's arrival. Where had Adin been swept off to? What incited King Batu to invade Granvale without warning? Sprawling before Sigurd lay the daunting Great Verdane Forest. He was about to set foot into the Forest of Spirits. Okay, whatever that read. Nordion. Good work. You've got the border. Yes, my lord. You've got the border. How you been, Sigurd? So what prompted you to take Evan's castle? You're not formally attacking Verdane, are you? Eldegan, thanks for coming. Verdane has taken Lady Adine of Jungvi hostage. And they showed no signs of releasing her, so I was forced to take up arms. So that's what's going on. I wouldn't leave this castle unattended if I were you. There's no telling what the lords of Augustria might may do. I'll watch your back, Sigurd. I sure appreciate it, Eldigan. Let's you and me I meet up when this is all over. We'll find a cozy little spot, have a little wine, just like old time. Okay, Eldigan's definitely not surviving this game. <laughs> that sounds nice. May you be victorious, Sigurd. Also, that sounded... Fairly romantic, I must say. The castle's in your hands, Ira. You best not let me down while I'm gone, you follow? You pull any stunts in that little brat's history. These guys don't scare me, Ira. Don't let don't you let them push you around. Shanan. Alright, Kinboa. You've got my word. 
so just keep your hands off of him. I just wonder if I can really trust you to return him to me. <laughs> Look, he's all yours once we've got Nevin's castle back. You better not double-cross me, Kinwa, because I'll hunt you down. And put your head on a stick, even if it takes me to the ends of hell. Got it? Whoa, whoa, for such a pretty face, you sure can spew some filth. Just relax. I have no plans of making an enemy of someone with your swordsmanship. Shannon, stay strong. I'll only be for a little while. Ira, forget it. Don't go! Hmm, alright. We're moving out. We will get Evans back. Wow. Um. Oh, God. Pound. Sortie. Guard. Promote. You cannot change class, please leave. <laughs> okay. Please leave. Please leave, he says. Okay, let me just see what the walkthrough here says. Before going out of Evans, recommendable to buy some weapons in the shop and also visit the arena to train your units. Okay, so... Hold on. So we go to town. Look at this! And you can repair your weapons now! Ooh. So it's... Yeah, okay. It sounds like the start to that one song from Aladdin. Hmm. Uh, okay, so you can repair stuff. There's a pawn shop. We'll buy anything you don't want. So I could sell the speed ring for 10,000 bucks. Okay. There's storage. Okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then there's the arena. Oh, God. I, do I want to fight? I guess I want to fight. Opponent's level one. Give it your best. Really? A level one fighter against Sigurd? Who still gets his horse? Okay, and he gets a little bit of XP. Here's your prize. A thousand gold. Yeah. Oh, and then it bumps up to level two. Fifteen hundred gold. Level three. Except it says he's level seven. I think it's just the third tier, but the, the enemy is level seven. It seems kind of high. Okay, we got a good hit. We got a good hit. And then you keep going until somebody dies. And you get more XP. And then we get more money. What happens if you die? This is a level 10 Myrmidon now. Okay, cool. Twenty five hundred gold. Level five axe armor. This is going to be a little tricky, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god. <laughs> and there's a level. 
Now he's level 11. 3,000 gold. Level 6. Level 16 Wind Mage. Oh, God. Oh, and he gets first shot. Oh, I dodged it. Dodge it again. Oh my god, Sigurd. Steel sword broke. Shit. Level 19 general. Okay, well, I'll go to the silver. Oh my god! Jesus! <laughs> Another level! That's it. There's no one left to fight. Here's your 4,000 gold. What the fuck, man? And then you can just do it again? Oh no, there's no one left for you to fight. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, had I known, I would have definitely spread that out more. I mean, it's times like that, I guess, like, I wish I just read the manual, I suppose. In the arena, all characters gain plus 20 avoid. Arena enemies all have zero luck and no personal skills. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so each chapter has its own arena battles, then. Yeah. And chapter is the mission. Wow, there's there's only there's the prologue, there's the finale, and then there's ten normal chapters. So that's a total of twelve levels. But I think these levels are really big. So we're probably only gonna do one per video. Um okay, but that's really interesting. my love for you currently don't have any feelings for anybody yeah that's that sums me up uh but we made a shit ton of money off that here's the item shop we just want to buy new stuff no steel lances uh the slim lance though is it good Let me just see. Slim Lance. It has 12 might, which is the same as the iron. It's got a 90% hit compared to 80. Um, and that's basically it. That's pretty much it. So it's literally just 10% higher hit chance. Which probably makes it just overall, yeah, it's better. I mean it's better. It also weighs half as much, but I don't know what weight really matters uh so there's that everybody should have javelins i can do all this off camera um but i'm gonna repair that make sure that's nice and spiffed up um Yeah, okay. Cool stuff. And over, so far, I like the CRT filter enough. I mean, it's kind of hard to make out specific details, but... I mean, that's SS, that's SNES, you know. What are you going to do? Uh, you can tell what each unit is, I guess. All right, this video has been long enough, though. My name is Mang. Game of Watching has been Fire Emblem, Genealogy of the Holy War. See you fine folks in the next part.